Hello, welcome to the session on video signals and connectors. Although there are many variations and implementation techniques, video signals are just a way of transferring visual information from one point to another. The information may be from a VCR, DVD player, a channel on the local broadcast, cable television or satellite system, the internet or one of the many sources. Invariably, the video information must be transferred from one device to another. It could be from a satellite set-top box or DVD player to a television. Or it could be from one chip to another inside the satellite set-top box or television. Although it seems simple, there are many different requirements and therefore many different ways of doing it. Until a few years ago, most video equipment was designed primarily for analog video. Digital video was confined to professional applications such as video editing. The average consumer now uses digital video every day thanks to continuing falling costs. This trend has led to the development of DVD players and recorders, digital set-top boxes, digital television DTV, portable video players and the ability to use the internet for transferring video data. With the development of improved technologies and video equipment in the last few years, there has been a confusing expansion in the variety of video formats we are likely to come across, especially with DVD players, camcorders, laser disc players and so on. Here is a rundown on the common video signals, formats and connectors, what they are used for and how they relate to each other. <music> 